Okay, we are lucky. The highly evolved human beings. But human beings, nevertheless, they are human beings. They're not gods. They never claim to be gods. And their energy is one of love. They are not of um, entities, high dimensional entities, or non parasitic entities. They may see the world as in right or wrong, rather, as, or anybody, any feces in the around Earth, out of Earth, etc. They don't see it in terms of all right and wrong, they just see it as in entities that are parasitic in nature, and entities that are not parasitic in nature. And that's what's happening onto the earth, in the earth, on the earth now. Some people <coughs> in inverted commas. That going to be affected by the human residence and won't need to feed off of us because we are part of Earth, we are meant to be on Earth as with other species. And there's going to be humans in inverted commas again that look like human but need to feed off the pain and fear and anxiety of others. And because of what they are. They're governed, their energy is governed, um, their energy is not our energy, completely different aims energies, our energy as human, original human genes, human genes, as original human beings, um, we don't need to feed off of us, the energy we will grow by just the energy of the earth, because we're meant to be on this earth, along with other species, the um, parasites, the energy is so dark, it's not meant to be on this earth. I think I've told this already that the creature beast and the darkness around them are literally when they that's about two meters, three meters or so, and their circumference where they are, and it's just darkness. And when they move, it's like the light, the energy, literally the rays of this earth goes back to in this space where they were. They can't connect to the energies coming into Earth at all. They fuck themselves up. They are not part of this Earth and not all energy comes from the same place. They're not meant to be on this Earth. That's how with the human residents, that's why you get, you, they will get more entity attachments. That's why you'll see people with um, overlays 
of negative beings just feeding off their energy. And I'm going to name someone that um, is just literally link themselves with the creature beast. Not now. I don't think my family would give me. Because I'm planning to confirm it. So cool friends. And now she's got um, a demonic attachment to her. Literally when you link yourself with a group of people. Be careful who you surround yourself with. Be careful who you link yourself with. Your energy with. Because that's it now. You can't on your deathbed say oh my bad. Now this person. Had an energy attachment anyway. But because she linked herself and tried to sort of head fuck me onto the creature beast, she's got a shadow demon attachment. She'll never get a go of that. Never won't let go of that. She's just got a shadow demon attachment. A demon, basically. I don't know why I said shadow demon, but it is a shadow. Got a feeling there was a shadow demon. He's linked himself to hell or the abyss or whatever you like to call it. Forever now. Porky's got an um, entity attachment, so as I've seen that entity attachments, demonic, demonic attachments. And the, the attachments, that's, that's their energy. That's why I don't go feeling sorry for them. That's their energy. They chose to do that. And it, I want you to, to be very clear. And be very clear. It's their choice. People will have a choice. Which way they go. Say people, oh, sorry again. Say people, it's loosely sent. This is crap. Well, that's a crafty thing. Flash just lights, I think it is. Okay, so we're stitching. Stitch can be bomb. Yeah, the Anunnaki were human beings like gods. Let's talk about religion now. Oh. Okay. Um, because the original human beings had no connection to higher beings, we've always had, we've always had a spiritual side. Our heart has always been open. Um, our chakra points, even though I don't like saying that, um, has always been open. We were always connected to higher beings. And um, when negative entities um, affected Earth and placed beings on Earth that are not human. Um, I want to say this, when you've done the dig up, archaeologists dig up um, skeletons of sort of ancient man, I don't know who they're talking about because it's not me man, it's not me, <laughs> okay, but there are different humans on earth, um, 
are never created by negative energies, negative beings, I should say, sorry. They have no connection, no higher um, energetic connection to higher beings. But to all humans, um, they stripped us off, they restrict us, human beings. This is where this has been going on for civilization, civilization after civilization after civilization. This is new. This is a long drawn out battle, folks. And we're just a bit part in it. The negative beings came on earth. Um, stripped human beings of their ability to read people or the intuition and the psychic ability and um, place the moon to sort of feed off the human beings and, and create negative energies um, and then create his mankind literally it's mankind it's not man the original humans um, and the beings humans that look like us and they have to pretend to be us, because we were just fucking battered them otherwise. I was thinking of an alpha to say that, but literally we would have not. They have to pretend to be nice, they have to pretend to be empathic, they have to pretend to be humane in their dealings with humans. But it's all pretend. And you're seeing that now. If you're in the UK, you're seeing that now with our MPs. You're seeing that with everything. One of the um, things that my family said, was lying, um, a pathological lie. He tells somebody who's, who's evil, who's got no connection to higher beings or to the higher self, is someone who's a pathological liar. I've said this previously. Um, and who does that remind you of? And they see no shame in lying. And it's not about um, so much anybody else, it's their own integrity their own moral compass, their hearts, it's their own being. And if they can pathologically lie, if they can pathologically cheat, they have no connection. That's one of the easiest ways you can tell that somebody is a non-human or subhuman. They feel no shame in lying. And with the Freemasons, as a group that you take, as an example, they believe lying if you're not part of the group, if you're not worthy enough for this higher knowledge, so in inverted commas again, um, you deserve to be lied to. So see how the way this sort of twist things in the Bible. Um, anyway, going back to that religion, let's start religion. Yeah, religion was created. Um, because human beings had a higher connection, so the negative entities created all sorts of religions to hold to human beings. And we'll talk about love, they'll talk about humanity, um, but they'll throw the lie and throw in some things like um, that you must forgive, um, and that you have to go to another person to seek or to teach you higher knowledge or to have a connection with your God. You go to a church, that's when you're bound to have the connection. So, or go to your mosque or whatever it is. You go somewhere. Instead of you being connected already to your soul group, your God, you have to go somewhere. You have to follow a set of rules. You have to, you know, before you die, like, to, to live on this earth um, and to be a good person, in inverted commas, you have to do this, that, and the other. So that's why religion was created. And there's not one religion. I'm not going to pick one religion. I've said all religion was created by man. And if you look at all religion, it, it is created by man. All religions were created by somebody having a say in inverted commas. I don't know why I'm saying inverted commas. Do you know when you do want to do the finger thing? Your two fingers. Both side of your hands. Anyway, I want to do that. I don't know if that sounds happens. Anyway, anyway, what was saying? Yeah, religion. Um, because we have the high connection, religions were created. 
by negative beings to hold you, to feed off you, you your, your energy is going towards whatever, whoever. I wasn't intending to go on about but but I can I know people asking me about religion. Not asking me. I don't know, but I could be thinking about it outside the obvious and the opposite of religion. I thought why don't people ask me about spirituality? Um this is spirituality, these beings, if you're with all humans and race has nothing to do with it whatsoever. But thanks to the entities and thanks to the beings I've linked everything to race or to gender, to try to divide us in as many ways as possible. First by skin colour, by religion, um, gender, everything. In the UK as well, we're so fucked because our UK government people. Mm, are not original humans, just like fucking the beast in my case. Council leaders and the police officers are not original humans. They have to be tend to have higher consciousness. But the subhuman. I'm not saying this call and names, but telling you that's what they are. They are subhuman. So my family sort of you could be down. Okay, I'm gonna say to everybody, we need to human up. Seriously, we need to human up. And don't sell your fucking soul or your energy. Trinkets. Or you get a demon attachment. Like Heather. Literally, she had a demon attached to her. Forever. And it's due to their actions. Don't feel sorry for these people. Um, it's due to their actions. They chose this. Everybody has a choice. Just because you've been lied to by your handlers, that doesn't take away that this decision or your actions that you made. I want the silent for a while, we're going to log off. A couple more minutes. The next time, I think when it's clear, I will go on about humans and our evolution. Originally, humans, and other species on Earth, I should say, again, um, and our evolution.
it now we're 20 minutes i think it was 20 minutes before that as well wasn't it okay thank you family I've just thanked my grandpa and Wayne telepathically. Okay, folks, bye.